Alrighty guys, what's going on? So uh, we got the U-Haul, uh, it's hooked up to the Avalanche, went to go put the Geo Tracker on, and guess what? I forgot the keys at home. So now I gotta go all the way back home, get the key, and then head back to the other place with the Avalanche and the trailer so that I can finally put the Geo Tracker on. And uh, yeah, so that's the story of my life as of right now. And then we can finally head over to Matt in his shop because he definitely has a lot more experience than I do when it comes to body work. When it comes to body work, I would say out of 100%, I probably have like 0.5 or 1% of experience. And when it comes to Matt, uh, he has about 95% experience. The other 5%, I think he really doesn't do welding and um, stuff like that, but he's good at painting and other things like that. I'm pretty good at painting as well, but uh, I'm not a professional. But you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. He's gonna help me on this project. Um, he's going to help me, you know, weld up and something that I haven't done really. And he probably has some experience in it, but I think it'll be cool. So let me get this key and let's head to Matt shop. Are you good? We got dust in my eyes. Nah. Ah, got some dust in my eyes. All right. Alrighty, I'm gonna see you all at Matt. Let's go. Where do you keep for the snow? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we finally got here at Matt's shop and we are going to unload the tracker and I ended up finding something really weird and gross in the wheel weld and look right over there. I don't know how well you can see that, but right there, that's a snake skin. That's a snake skin. So I don't think there's any snakes in here. Um, hopefully not because that would be a little bit creepy. I'm not really afraid of snakes though, but um, I don't think there's anything. But uh, we'll see. Damn, look at that skin though. But guys, underneath this geo tracker is really clean. I didn't even think it would be that clean. Seriously, look at that. The only things that are really rusted are the stuff that are easily changeable, such as the shocks, the exhaust. But I don't even think I'm gonna go through all of that because we're just building it to be an off-roader. So probably some bigger tires and new paint job and uh, just the weld the floorboards. But that's about it. It looks pretty clean under here. It really does. Look how clean all that is. I'm surprised. I really am. So Matt is going to move this truck up and I am going to end up pulling off the geo tracker. So let's wait for him to move. Keep going. That that should be good, right? Yeah. 
You want to drive it off or? Where's the reverse on this thing? Shit don't got power steering. Alright, hold it right there. Let me, let me put up the branch. Yeah. What is up guys, welcome back. So <clears throat> we're continuing off from yesterday when we brought the geo tracker in. So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna remove everything from the interior, try to put it away so I can start cutting out the uh, floorboard. So tomorrow I can go to Home Depot and buy my patches. Um, also, I'm gonna be removing this top. Now Matt gave me an awesome idea. Uh, he said, why don't we make a mini avalanche out of it? So I think that'll be so cool because technically it does look like one, just a really small version. Um, so we're gonna try to make it into an off-roading pickup truck off-roading pickup truck kind of thing and uh, Matt's gonna help me as much as he can so I'm gonna get started with removing this top and just removing everything from the inside so we can work on cutting out the metal like that this should seem hard as frick though oh may no maybe you're right it drill through like nothing. Or a chisel and a hammer? No. You ain't had no chisel? I have a putty, man. Let me get that and a hammer. I don't know. I'm, he kind of ripping out here. Oh. Alrighty, so right now Matt is take, helping me take off the top. Uh, there's some screws up here and we're gonna finally remove this top and get it looking like an avalanche a little bit sooner than we thought. Just pull with some strength, boy. Damn, look at that. Was it attached on the inside? Yeah, they, they just... Uh, no, there's something. Oh yeah, there's a little thing. There's a little thing in there. There's a little thingy in here. All right. Uh, there you go. Should be nothing else there. It should just rip right off. Unless it's zippered on or something. I remember the ones from here. Yeah, but I, I can't really get that. It's stripped. So this one screw here is stripped. Uh, they ended up using screws to hold this in. I don't know why. Um, I doubt that's how it's supposed to be. But uh, let's get this piece of crap off and start getting it to look right. And this is how Matt and I get in between the car to the other side. We have to squeeze through this uh, corner here. Look at him. Oof. I have, you see where I put the blade? Nah. We also found another scary little thing in here. Where is it? Look at that. Snake skin. You want me to rip him? See if I just pull out. Yeah, hold on. Fill it up. Oh, I 
still me doing it there. Oh. Damn, this should uh, is a uh, is a uh, a bee. Yeah, that one part is sort of tough. Oh, now we gotta do the top. Now he should be uh, he should rip right out. It didn't do nothing? Huh? Did it budge? <laughs> well, there you have it! No, I still gotta come up from here. I'll oh, hold it. Woo! Damn, it's an avalanche already. Look at that snake skin in there. Damn, son. Look at that snake skin. Damn, this looking fresh already. What you think? It's almost there. Almost there. Alrighty, guys. So now we are going to cut some of the floor out with the grinder. Obviously, safety first. Got some glasses and then uh, this shield, which is kind of dirty, but I got to clean it later on. I don't have gloves, and I think that's something I should get. So definitely when I go to Home Depot or something to buy this metal, I'll pick up some gloves because I don't think the welding gloves will protect from metal fragments. It'll protect from the welds. But anyway, let's get on to cutting this out. All right, so um, I'm cutting, right? And do you, should I grind this first? Where are you cutting this from? You can see like where it's cut. It's clean metal where it's being cut. Yeah, where is the, the, the last strongest part? Let's cut a straight line, flapping. Yeah, so you probably have to cut from that same line there. Is this like a frame rail or something, this? Yeah, that's an inner brace that goes. So I don't really need to cut that. We can weld over that? Yeah, we got to clean it though. The spot welded along here. Mm -hmm. So you got to drill out those spot welds to detach from that. Thanks. Cut out. We got to clean. Look how all the edges are, and then see. No, but I mean, when I go to buy the metal, the rest of the floorboard should be that same thickness, right? Yeah. Okay, so I could just buy a bunch. Alrighty, guys, that is all the time we have for today. So what we did today was we obviously removed the ugly tarp, got rid of all them screws. We're gonna try to make it into a baby avalanche, and we cut out some of the floorboards. So now. This gives me a head start in going to Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those places that sell metal um, to measure the thickness to see what size I should get. And then we can start with welding up the floor. Now, I also have some other spots that I have to actually um, cut out again, such as where the shock towers are and stuff like that in the back. And we have all this mess to clean up before I can even weld, just so we don't start a fire. Um, so, we're just going to end this here. If you like this video, please definitely give it a thumbs up and also drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And um, we're still deciding on what color to paint this thing. Matt said that we should probably do an avalanche theme, which is like the color of my avalanche and paint the, uh, the little moldings black or something like that. Um, I was thinking just painting it straight black and putting some gold um, graphite on it, something like that. I don't know, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I definitely appreciate that. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you can. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.